Today, I'd like to talk about a very important uh, principle obeyed and loved by the Pythagoreans. So Pythagoras was about 2,500 years ago, same time as Buddha and Confucius. And Pythagoras um, had a very important triangle called the Divine Triangle. So this lesson today is called the Divine Triangle. And when we know that when we draw the five-pointed star, I'm going to draw the five-pointed star this is the five-pointed star. One, two, three, four, five. So two and a half thousand years ago, they didn't call that the five-pointed star. They called it the triple triangle. So you can see here, I've got a note here called the triple triangle. So today's lesson is about how did the three create the five? We're going we're gonna to work with a very special triangle and use three of them. To, to generate the fiveness or the pentacle. And this is the shape that I'm interested in. It's, a, it's, a, it's called an obtuse triangle because this top angle here is more than 90 degrees. That's so called obtuse. In fact, it's 108 degrees. And because this side is the same as that side, we call it isosceles. So it's obtuse because it's 108 degrees. Two sides are the same. And, and basically... We're going to start off giving this measurement one unit and one unit and explore what this length is here. So let, let's start off. Let's start at the beginning here. Um, I'm going to draw this triangle here. One. This is one unit, one unit. So we'll call it one and one. And this length here, happen, when, when the top angle is 108 degrees, this distance is phi. So when we say phi, it's really 1.618. So this is why it's called phi 108. It's a phi 1 and phi and 108 degrees. And that means that these smaller angles here are 36 and 36. Okay. So now that shape is interesting because this shape, the divine triangle, happens to fit inside the pentagon. So... This shaded bit here is the same triangle, and here it is again, right? So that's another divine triangle there. Now, what's interesting is the, the space in between. This negative space here is this shape here. So th this is also called a golden triangle, but this, this time the base angles here are 72 degrees, right? Whereas here they're 36 degrees. So that, this is called a golden triangle. So most people know the golden triangle just like that. And so, we, so when we, whenever we draw a five-pointed star, we can say that this section up here is a golden triangle, that top triangle, right? But we're interested in another triangle in here. So I'm going to highlight it in red. So there's this beautiful triangle here where that angle here is 108 degrees. Okay, so so now what happens is we're going to change the length of this golden triangle. So instead of calling, so this is um, the length one and one, we're going to change this to phi. So I'm going to draw this again over here, right? I'm going to draw this again over here. And this time the length is extended from... 1 to 1 1.618. So if I take this length and draw it over here again, I'm going to put a line here. So th this and that is this is the go this is the same as this one here. So so this is phi, this is phi. And what happens is that this distance here becomes 1. So that means if this distance is 1 and this distance is 1, we have what's called, there's the divine triangle, but this divine triangle is a fractal of the large one. If you expanded this one here, it's exactly the same as the big one. So that's what fractal means, when the inside is the same as the outside. Now, what's amazing about this triangle is that um, this distance here is called phi, and this distance here is one. So, so, the, whole, so the whole distance from... From here to there, this whole distance is called phi squared. So that means if 
if I multiply 1.618 times 1.618 phi squared, the result is 2.618. Now that's quite amazing because all we did was add unity consciousness to this length of, length of phi. So by adding one to phi, we end up with its square. So the golden ratio is very sacred because it's the only number in the universe that can add and multiply itself. Add and multiply. That's a really important subject. Now, what we can do is that we can do this forever. So I can keep subdividing. This is the large one, right? So here it is there. There's the large one. And then I subdivided it to make another one here. So there's another one there. But I could subdivide this again and um, and just keep doing it. And I can go infinitely into smaller subdivisions of the divine triangle. So this is an infinite geometric series that keeps obeying the phi ratio. So there's a lot of beautiful mathematics associated to this. But what I'd like to do in, in this lesson is that we looked at the sacred maths of the divine triangle. The original question we posed was, why is the five-pointed star, why is the five-pointed star called a triple triangle because we're going to take this and this is a puzzle that you can do with 10 year old children so cut out the divine triangle and say I want you to trace this three times I want you to trace it three times and create the five pointed star so I'm going to put it there I'll put one three dots there right now I'm going to draw it straight lines so there's my first divine triangle and now we have to do it again. So, so we had it like this. Now I'm going to flip it around to something like that. So it's the same one. So I'm going to trace it again. I've already got the top point. This is the leg. Okay, so, so now I can draw this down. So that's two. We've got two. Now we need one more. So, so you sort of get this template and you say, how am I going to make the five-pointed star, oh, I know what, I can put it like this, and now I'll get the two arms. So I line it up, and I realize that I've got a point here, and I've got a point there, and I take it off, so now I can draw this right across. Voila, and there you have it, the five-pointed star. So really, it's, it's called the triple triangle, and this is a really um, important um, memory of ancient knowledge because it's a tribute to what we call the Trinity, the Trinity of creation, which is the father and the mother out of love produce a child. So three is often referred to as fertility and growth because it's the father, mother, child principle. Um, and in many other cultures, it's um, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. Brahma creates, Vishnu preserves and Shiva comes along and destroys. So this concept of the Trinity pervades many, many cultures. It's a very special thing. And that's why the symbol for Pythagoras, they actually, this is purple, but the symbol for Pythagoras was a blue pentacle. And we know that when we draw the star within the star, it keeps reducing at a rate of 0.618. So that you keep seeing the star within the star. So this is called an infinite geometric series. And the reason it can do that is because the critical angle here it's called 108 degrees. So, so 108 is the critical angle of the Pentagon. If it wasn't 108 degrees, it wouldn't work. And yeah, so we can see here that if I drew the star within the star again, it reduces at 0.618. So, um, if, so if this was 13, this would be eight. And I could draw it again. I could draw the star with this in the star and it goes forever and ever. And you can see that the, the pentagram turns up, down, up, down. It creates a wave or an oscillation because this is part of the physics of creation. So that's something to um, get excited about is um, keep teaching the pentacle to your children because this is the mathematics of every protein in your body. This has got to do with living systems. In fact, every cell in our body, in the human body, is pure sacred geometry.